Well, as we draw the month of May and spring 2022 to a close, it will wind up a warmer than normal month for the British Isles, for the UK uh, as a whole. Ireland, Spain, Portugal, France, Central Europe it has been a warm month indeed. But would you believe, if I was to turn around and say to you, that it could tie as the warmest May on record for the British Isles Believe it or not, that is what meteorologist Dan Harris has just tweeted um, very, very recently this afternoon that uh, it looks as if, uh, albeit with four days to go, um, it could tie, 2022 could tie uh, with 2017 and 2008 as the warmest May on record. Now, that actually has caught me by surprise as well, I must admit. I knew it was ending uh, warmer than normal overall, but uh, a tie for the record, um, I didn't quite see that coming, I must admit. And uh, he puts out some of these tremendous tweets uh, and with graphics and all sorts of information. Um, terrific stuff, I must admit, um, that Dan uh, provides on Twitter. Um, but you can see here quite clearly the years that are right up there, 2008, 2017 and 2022, all in line as the warmest 2018 as you can see um, not that far behind either but um, it actually believe it or not is not so much the daytime uh, daytime temperatures that have been significant and holding the average up it's actually been the overnight minimums that has been significantly warmer than normal uh, very little in the way of frost and with cloud cover based on the fact that we had high pressure largely dominating the UK it has been slightly to the south and allowing a lot of cloud cover off a warmer than normal Atlantic to ride over top of that high over the northern flank of the high and pull in a lot of cloud cover hence a very dull May but a very warm May so it's the overnight temperatures um, that I believe according to Aidan McGivern of the of the Met Office as well said that it's actually the nighttime minimums have broken the record, I believe, by 0 0.6 Celsius uh, above the previous record that was set. So it's it's really the warm nights that have been the big story with regards to this May overall. And of course, this is all following in, in the trend of a very warm uh, front running five months uh, to 2022 thus far. So, of course, like I said, um, daytime temperatures um, have been nothing really to write home about, if I'm being honest, apart from that rogue day where we've seen 27.5 recorded at Heathrow, there's been nothing major in terms of heat. And I actually did put out this tweet just a few days ago, uh, looking at the difference in temperatures, um, you know, between um, days during this month and 2017. So, um, this was the day, I believe, I can't remember exactly what date it is, uh, 26, 26th of May, the temperatures, this was the temperatures around Scotland, and we've seen a 27.8 at Altenahara, 26.8 at Loch Lasgarnock, but notice a 29.4 Celsius recorded at Lossiemouth back on the 26th of May, 2017. Very same day, Temperature of only 6 Celsius at Nahara, uh, or should I say Lockless Garnock, 10 at Nahara, 13 degrees at, uh, at Lossiemouth as opposed to the 29.4. So very interesting, the contrast between temperatures this month versus back in 2017. But yet, the month overall could weigh in the same average um, so really quite amazing stuff actually and the weather just continuously throws curveballs both in terms of forecasting but also in, in terms of surpriseness overall and uh, it never ceases to amaze me how things can chop and change current temperatures as of recording at a uh, 20 past five and we have got another cool afternoon especially over the Highlands, uh, only 9 at Wick, 9 at Loch Lasgarnock, with wind chill of uh, what, uh, 5 Celsius. So feeling very, very chilly indeed. 5 Celsius uh, wind chill also at Wick. But uh, 
down here at well I'm in Cumbernauld and sunshine and it feels very very pleasant indeed but 18 degrees at Glasgow Airport then we've got 18 19 degrees down across um, the South Midlands South Central England into the southwest of the UK as well we've got 20 degrees here at Shannon Airport as you can see here but a distinctly chilly day across the northern half of the British Isles looking at the GFS chart we're going to see cooler air infiltrate from the north east as we go through the next couple of days here and it's all thanks to high pressure and it's retreat northwards up towards Iceland then we've got an area of low pressure that comes out of Scandinavia that sinks south uh, and covers the UK into the early portion of next week here a bit of a, a, a kind of flabby um, area of low pressure it's not deep but it's going to be enough um, to generate an increase in cloud cover as well as shower activity uh, some of these showers could be uh, quite uh, slow moving heavy persistent uh, and even developing into longer spells of rain uh, underneath this area of low pressure and it is in a very very slack uh, upper level wind flow pattern as well you notice here by the time we reach the 12 o'clock uh, on tuesday the final day of may uh, you can see here that it's a very very slack area of low pressure with no real driving mechanism in place so this area of low pressure could linger actually through a, a good uh, part of next week actually with nothing really in the mid and upper levels to kind of push it around and, and kick it out of the way so um it could be um a fairly disappointing first half of to next week and then it's all eyes of course uh, towards the latter half of next week and into the weekend the big jubilee weekend of course you can see here that the gfs is indicating that area of high pressure kind of tries and attempts to push in to the british isles however the area of high pressure is not overly expansive it's got low pressure fairly close by to the north and therefore we're likely to pull in uh, some fairly fresh winds off the atlantic so it looks as if Towards next weekend, uh, temperatures are going to be uh, pretty subdued for the early portion of June. Looking at the 850 millibar temperatures, you can see here over the next uh, 24 to 36 hours, the cool air moving in from the north as the area of high pressure moves towards Iceland. Uh, we have, of course, that uh, almost direct connection with the Arctic. Uh, some fairly cool 850 temperatures uh, drifting down over the British Isles as you can see here down across Spain Portugal Western Mediterranean plenty of heat to speak about so we're going to be seeing quite the contrast uh, between Iberia and even the north of France uh, you can see here that we've got 850 temperatures of 20 Celsius over the Balearics right over uh, Ibiza actually you can see here we've got the uh, 20 Celsius isotherm but if you get up towards uh, the Paris area, you've got uh, the same level, that same uh, 5,000 foot level uh, within the atmosphere, we've got uh, zero Celsius. So a very significant contrast in a very short distance uh, over southwestern Europe. So that's very interesting. Temperatures, uh, early portion of next Monday, Monday, for example, we could see places struggling to get to double figures uh, temperature wise for the closing couple of days of may so um a very very disappointing end to spring what has been a very warm spring and also it's a disappointing open the summer 2022 and that has been alluded to in the last few days as i play it through the loop here you can see that that uh, air mass kind of drifts it continues to drift south over the UK, but it starts to kind of moderate the temperature, as you notice here. Eventually, uh, you start to lose some of that cool air uh, over the UK, but it still stays cool, if you notice. But we just don't have the minus 4, minus 5 Celsius at, at 850 millibars by the time we reach uh, early June. But no heat wave uh, in sight Um you know through the at least the first several days of the month of, of, of june but notice look at the amount of heat that is now starting to drift off africa up into the western and central mediterranean here and we've got this kind of fight between colder trying to push uh, southwards over the british isles uh, very very warmer trying to lift north out of africa here and we've got this 
big collision, so to speak, uh, between uh, truly hot air and uh, unusually cooler, may I add, uh, by the time we reach the um, the end of next week. So this is Friday, by the way, and we're approaching the Jubilee weekend by this stage. And it's very interesting. It's actually just catching my eye uh, as, I'm, as I'm recording this video. An amazing contrast uh, in air mass um, in the middle levels of the atmosphere with this type of setup. You notice here we've got two uh, distinct features. Area of high pressure just to the west of the UK, like I say, it's uh, the air coming in over the top of that ridge is pulling in some fairly cool air indeed. All the while we've got an area of low pressure uh, almost immediately below that. That is acting as a wheel, a transport for pulling very hot air out of Africa northwards here. And there's going to be a clash zone right in between this. So amazing stuff actually um, as we go through next week. And it's going to be all eyes on next weekend to see exactly what takes place. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. As always, please drop a comment, like, share and subscribe to the channel. And I'll be back in the next couple of days with more. Hope you have a great rest of Saturday. Bye for now.